What's that? You want to learn yourself some 2.6 hog cycle with detailed breakdowns? Your boy's got you covered. The golem is going to be very, very difficult. Here's what he's going to do. Yep, yep, that's what he's going to do. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to go ahead and fireball. Boom, I clip them all. Perfect. I'm going to go. No, okay, that stinks. That really does stink. Are you serious right now? 3M, golem, graveyard. That's what I'm facing. Pop quiz. Whenever I break down 2.6 hog cycle, which shape do I refer to? The triangle. One of the staple pieces to Hog 2.6 is protecting the cannon and the musketeer using cards like the Ice Golem. When you learn this technique, you will be able to keep things on the map longer. You will be able to shut down big pushes like this all while cycling and getting back to your Hog Rider to keep constant pressure and chip. Learn the triangle. Out cycling your opponent's defenses, getting back to your Hog Rider as quickly as possible, constant chip with spells, protecting the cannon and the musketeer with cards like the skeletons, the ice golem, and the ice spirit, continuous chip, rinse and repeat are the fundamentals of Hog 2.6. I am on my mini account. I feel like that's more relatable versus my main account, which is higher up ladder. Let's go ahead and jump into it and get ourselves some dubs. And remember, we are going to be breaking these battles down. With this starting rotation, I might play a little bit patient. You can definitely go in with the ice spirit if you have it as chip. You can go log he goes in with the hog rider i have to do this very awkward position because i didn't have my cannon so that's pretty unfortunate there isn't a whole lot i can do here so i'm gonna go ahead and go hog rider opposite lane now that's just all due to bad rotation right so he goes oh we're playing against 2.6 let's go all right so now my hog rider is obviously higher level i think his cannon is higher level let's go in with the musketeer he's gonna go in with that now we're gonna go in here with this he can go log which he might do he doesn't do it all right cool so we're gonna go ahead and he goes fireball i thought he would do that so we're gonna to go in a little bit aggressive here and then i'm gonna get the log ready right about here he's gonna go cannon i'm assuming oh he missed it he actually logged incorrectly and that is why he missed it so that actually works out really well for us he's gonna go hog rider here soon i might switch it up on him and place the cannon in a different spot let's go a little bit high with it yep okay no never mind i thought he was gonna do something else all right so we're gonna go ahead and go in with this here and i am once again gonna log we'll let that happen he goes cannon correctly that time right i still get the chip there we're gonna slowly chip obviously he got that initial damage with the fact that i had the worst rotation possible facing 2.6 with cannon being my last card so we're going to go ahead and get some Ice Spirit Chip, hopefully. We'll see. We're going to play a little bit patient. He goes in with that. We'll go over here with this. And I may have to log that back. Uh, nope, won't have to. Perfect. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and Predictive Fireball ourselves. And a boom right there. And I'm going to get this down here. And I hit the Ice Spirit. And I clipped those skeletons. That's what he should have did all along. We're still going to be able to get a shot off with the Hog Rider and two, if I'm not mistaken, from the Musketeer. Now I'll go here. He already used his Fireball, right? So we're going to be good to go there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in. This is where this pressure will be relentless. I will go in with the Fireball once again. He needs to switch it up. Boom. We should be able to get a Hog hit. Even if my Hog Rider was lower level, we would have been good to go. I have to log. And the reason for that is because I got to go in here with this. And then I'm going to slow this down here. And we're going to be good to go. That is a desperate move with the Musketeer. We're going to go ahead and make sure the Musketeer cannot cross. And if anything, I got Log Fireball for the Hog Rider. It will not be enough time. And this is what I would have done anyways. That was a good battle. Bad rotation at the start. I'm glad I got the dub. Peace out. There really isn't teaching bad rotation, right? It's just bad luck. It happens to everyone. So with this starting rotation, you really just want to cycle skeletons. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to go here. Remember I talk about the triangle. We'll talk about that a little bit more for those of you that are new to the channel. When I talk about, okay, then he goes ghost. All right. About the triangle and how we protect the cards like the Musketeer. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with this here. The Musketeer and the Cannon. So he goes Valkyrie that lane, which is even better for us. This is perfect, right? So we're going to go ahead and bring this over. And then we're going to use an Ice Golem as well. Let's do that. Keep that Valkyrie walking. He goes in with the Hog Rider. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and slow it all down. Valkyrie will go down, and that Hog Rider will go down as well. I am actually going to go ahead and log the Hog Rider back. We'll get some Skeletons down as well. So he's got a level 13 Hog Rider. All right, he's got a Miner too as well. So pretty cool deck. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, which I like. Makes breaking down the battles a lot more fun. He goes in with a Baby Dragon, okay? So these are the mistakes that these players make. That was pointless to do. We're going to go ahead and go in with... Actually, no. That's why. I could have actually done it. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably could have done it because I thought he was going to go Mega Knight. So we'll let this happen here. And he's got his Hog Rider. Oh, goes in with that. Okay, sure. I'm not worried about it now at all. I don't know why he played the bats there or what the purpose was with that. I do have to go in here and I'm going to go in with this. We're going to go in with this. And he's going to play Mega Knight that side, I'm assuming. Possibly, right? But we get a lot of damage though. I don't know what he's doing. He actually has some really good counters to the Hog Rider. But now that I'm up a tower, all I care about is defending. 
So he's probably going to try to really punish this side here. So let's go in with a nice golem. We've got to definitely take care of that royal ghost. It will do some nasty damage. We're going to go in with the musketeer. I could have went cannon, I guess. I don't care at this point. I just don't want him to get the chip. He's going to go in with that. We're going to go cannon. We're going to go ahead and do this here. And we should be good to go, actually. We'll slow that down enough. Baby Dragon gets one belch. I'm okay with that. And then we're going to go ahead and go in. He can't go Hog Rider unless he has a spell or something like that. But he can't really do a whole lot. Now I'm going to go in here. Now, the thing we have to be careful about is the fact that... Okay, never mind. He's not doing what I'm thinking he's doing. I'm not sure why he's playing it that way. But I'll take it. Okay, we're going to go in here with this. He's got his Hog Rider, right? We're going to go here with this because he's going to run it. No, he's not yet. Okay, never mind. We'll go here. We're going to get a nice Golem down here. Cannon's going to help out on that side. Right? We're going to go ahead and not worry about it. We're going to do something like this. We're going to go ahead and do something like this. I'm telling you, we're good to go. Now we're going to go in here. It's only got like 15 seconds. I'm not going to fireball. I feel like that would be too aggressive. We'll go here with this. I don't even understand. Oh my goodness, now I am. I don't think I take out level 12 barbarians, do I? Nah. Let's go here with this. And then we're going to go ahead and go here with this. We'll go here with this. And then you just start spamming stuff all over the place. Let's go. GG's and peace out. Great battle. It's going to be a fun one to break down. A deck like I just face is probably a lot of what you guys are seeing. And it can be hard to face for sure. Okay, with this here, I'm probably going to go ahead and wait just a little bit. Oh, oh man, I have to go in. 3M right off. Here's what I have to do. Level 12 too. I'm a little nervous. Not going to lie. We'll go here. I do wish I had Zap at the moment. I got to go Skeletons. He's going to pressure this side. I do have to log this back. Boom, we'll take care of those Musketeers. I got to see what he's going to put on this side. Chances are this could... Oh, Executioner? Uh, sure. Okay, let's go here with this. Cannon. Like I said, protect the Cannon. The Musketeer, though, I'm a little bit nervous about. All right, we're going to have to go in here with this and slow her down just a little bit. I don't want to allow him to build up anything with the three musketeers but i gotta see what other cards he has right now he goes in with a pump okay so as long as i can so he used all that right as long as i can definitely come close to taking this tower which i was able to we're gonna go ahead and kite these just a little bit i think we'll be okay now i'm gonna have to let him definitely build up some elixir here he's baiting out the fireball which makes perfect sense to me this is going to be a difficult matchup in my opinion in double so we'll let this all happen he's going to go in with a three oh he goes in with the golem okay so we'll go here golem 3m all right so this will be a true test absolute true test i'm going to go in with a musketeer here the golem is going to be very very difficult we have to be able to defend here's what he's going to do yep yep that's what he's going to do so we're going to go ahead and do this and then i'm going to go ahead and fireball boom i clip them all perfect right so we're going to go ahead and get this down i'm not going to wait any longer i'm going to go no okay that stinks that really does stink uh let's see we got to go here and then i got to be able to log right now let's do it boom Come on now, take care of all that stuff. Oh my goodness, graveyard? Are you serious right now? 3M, golem, graveyard. That's what I'm facing, okay? Let's just get a nice golem down here. Try to protect just a little bit. Take care of most of that stuff. I don't know what he's doing over there, but okay. We have roughly 55 seconds. We have to be able to defend. He might go golem here. No, he goes in the back. Okay, so we're going to be able to cycle pretty fast, right? So let's go in with this here. I'm going to let this all go. I'm going to just do the same exact thing here. I'm just going to go in like this. And maybe Hog Rider. I'm going to do the same thing, right? I'm going to go ahead and fireball the 3M. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the 3M. We're going to get ourselves another cannon down. And then we got to get another musketeer down. Hopefully he doesn't have lightning because that would be real bad for us. Let's go here. He's going to go in with that. We're going to go in with an ice golem. Okay, we're going to let this all happen. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this right now. We're going to do this take care of a lot of those larrys and we got to get another musketeer down hopefully we can take care of this stuff he's got a lot of larrys okay all right he took the tower this is really hard to defend against i want him to go in with hopefully the skeleton army please if he does we're going to be good to go i'm going to go in here with this and then i'm going to go in here with this boom i got two shots okay so we got to go in he's going to go probably golem in the pocket if i had to guess right golem at the bridge we're going to go in here we got to go in here here's how i'm going to win this battle i'm going to win this battle by doing this and then we're gonna do this right here i just need one shot i just need one shot let's go ggs and take that built out of here after some terrible luck with my starting rotation cannon being last his hog rider definitely got some damage the point of the screenshot is i typically will run opposite lane of the weak side to force them to use some elixir so they chip on the strong side and have to split their damage. A couple of things happening here, and he actually placed the cannon correctly, but what he did was he logged and it actually pushed my hog rider this way, which made it basically bypass the cannon. And my log here, which obviously I'm gonna get a lot of damage because of that mistake,
he shouldn't have logged. And my log was basically trying to predict whether he was going to do skeletons or the ice spirit. Once again, push an opposite lane here. And if I'm not mistaken, my opponent did fireball, which is good for us because this is still very, very healthy. The point of the screenshot is to switch up your cannon placement. Do not be predictable like my opponent was. You guys saw in battle, it actually cost him it. Speaking of costing him the battle right here. I knew he was going to drop the cannon right here and I thought either skeletons or the ice spirit. I get this, this, and this with this one fireball. Musketeer I'm not too worried about with a very healthy hog rider that makes it to the tower all because he was predictable. On to the next battle, the triangle. I talk to you guys all the time about it. The triangle is the ice golem, the musketeer, and the cannon. And obviously cards like skeletons can help as well, but this is your triangle. You are protecting the musketeer and the cannon with the ice golem. Shut down this mega knight, which he dropped at the bridge. I tell you guys, don't play that way. And again, why this opponent is very likely gonna stay in this arena because he plays that way. Learn the triangle perfect it and you will be able to get dubs with 2.6 trust me i knew i could safely run hog rider opposite lane i mean look how healthy he is based on this musketeer and this was my plan all along after shutting things down with this cannon was that he would defend it with something i don't believe i knew he had valkyrie at the moment but what i did know is once he dropped it this hog rider is going to be super safe because he wasn't going to be able to get Mega Knight down. He does get the bats down, but we still get significant damage. During this battle, I would say the number one mistake besides dropping Mega Knight at the bridge my opponent was making, he kept dropping all kinds of troops at the bridge. And you notice that he never, ever has enough elixir. We have the cannon and the ice spirit. We're going to go ahead and shut down his level 13 hog rider. But again, if you don't allow yourself to build up your push or build up your elixir, you're never going to be able to consistently get damage. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that, which I did by getting positive elixir trades and counter pushing exactly how I won this battle. So this is the first time that I saw Miner. So that was pretty good. So we got some chip there. I did not think he was going to be running Miner. Hog does get a couple of hits. I definitely logged to try to kind of mitigate some of that. I have skeletons I can go ahead and drop onto the Miner. I was going to be good to go. I knew that I had this at 1900 and he was going to go ahead and chip away, chip away, but we're still going to be in the tower damage advantage. And the only thing I was thinking about was not allowing him to build up some massive push. If he did Mega Knight in the bridge or something like that, I would cycle, get back to Hog Rider and keep chipping at that side. Another example of my opponent just dropping stuff at the bridge, in this case, a baby dragon crossing his fingers, hoping I didn't have something in cycle. Instead, I got a positive elixir gain with a two elixir ice golem kiting it that way. And this is what I'm talking about when I say positive elixir gains and how it will benefit you. He does have a hog rider and I have a hog rider. What is the key difference in this screenshot? My elixir count and his. He can't do anything on my hog rider and I can shut down his enough to where it be minimal damage. I'm gonna get significant on his side. Next battle, are you kidding me? Tough matchup, but Golem, 3M, Graveyard and Pump. Guys, I don't recommend that number one. Number two, I do not also recommend dropping 3M when the battle first starts. I was already forward thinking, was not sure. I thought he was playing like a split lane battle ram, kind of a bridge bam type of a deck. That's obviously very popular as well. But I was already forward thinking that I was gonna fireball log the 3M, not knowing he had Golem him, but he made mistakes by not splitting them. It would have been a lot harder of a matchup if he did dual lane pressure versus everything stacked on one side. After using fireball and log to take out the two musketeers on that side, I used a positive gain here to help shut this down. Now the musketeer did get a couple of shots, but then I ran ice spirit for one less shot. And as you can see, his pump is still on the map. Hog Rider got significant damage. It's all I cared about. But then he started to make the mistake knowing I was able to take out his 3M with fireball log he stacks everything right here i drop the log i went ahead and then fireballed the musketeer take him out i only have to worry about his golem i have a cannon here i have the musketeer here i can use ice spirit and skeletons i knew it was a heavy deck so i wasn't worried about it but this is the positive trades again that you're getting and not allowing them to build any kind of push and all I was working on was another hog rider to get that tower. And then this happened. I certainly got the hog rider down, certainly got the tower down, still has a pump on the map. He drops graveyard. I was blown away. 3M golem and graveyard. I didn't know what to do really at the moment here. I went ahead and got the ice spirit down, I believe. And I knew I was going to let those skeletons build up, make sure they didn't take the tower and just log it away. Three things here. Number one, my opponent did not learn his lesson because he kept stacking on one side. Number two, I was going to fireball log the musketeers. Number three, I was going to pressure this side to get this down as far as possible in case this went to a 2-1 and I would be up on tower damage. And he indeed did take this tower, but look at the damage I have on his side and look at the damage he has on my side. Perfectly calculated, and I always do that in all battles. I will recommend you guys do the same. If you have any thought that it's going to go to a 2-1, 
definitely try to chip, especially if you know you can take the other side. Even though I got a lot of damage here, I'm calling this a mistake on my part, and I was trying to predict something there with the fireball, but knowing he had 3M, number one, the fireball could have been maybe over here. I could have clipped one or two of them, but instead I drop it here, even though the hog rider gets a lot of damage and I get that fireball damage, that could have cost me the battle for sure. And after that exchange, I knew he was gonna go ahead and pocket the golem once the 3M hit the river, and I wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to have enough for graveyard. The only thing I cared about is once the 3M were out of range, your boy was gonna go ahead and pocket the hog rider because I knew he wouldn't have enough elixir to defend, and I just needed that hit. And that was it, GG's and a peace out. That was a fun battle. Pretty hectic and crazy. That is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this detailed breakdown session. Keep those comments coming. Your boy loves to help. Thank you again for all the continued support. Until the next video, take care. Peace out.